ओके जस्ट यस इट्स गौरव सो लेट्स प्रोसीड हेड विद योर टेक्निकल स्नैप फॉर डीआरडीओ फ्लूइड मैकेनिक्स सो गौरव टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट द फ्लूइड प्रॉपर्टीज यस सर सर फ्लूइड प्रॉपर्टीज आर characteristics certain characteristics of the fluid uh, which we generally measure uh, which uh, we measure and then quantify them for our study purposes uh, like the density of the fluid like viscosity of the fluid these are properties of the fluids koi important fluid property ke bare mein batao so kiske koi important sir, fluid uh, property ka naam batao Tell me some important fluid property. Uh, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. So, like uh, density is one of the important fluid properties because it is useful in uh, many ways. And then we have viscosity also because uh, the we use a uh, viscosity of the fluid in many places. And then also we have the pressure that fluid exerts on the body that also is the property as well as the temperature of the fluid are also. Uh, termed as the properties as they are the state functions so these are some of the important properties that a fluid carries hmm which are of interest to me mere ko viscosity ke bare mein kuch batao gaurav yes yes sir so sir uh, viscosity is the property of the fluid by virtue of which it exerts a resistance uh, between the layers so one layer of the fluid uh, resist to other layers relative motion Uh, because of the viscosity so the uh, viscous resistance force is set up between the layers of the fluid because of this viscosity and that causes the loss of the energy as the fluid flows from one point to another point mm, okay acha hamare paas do tarike hain viscosity nikalne ke dynamic and kinematic why two yes sir sir actually uh, dynamic viscosity is the real viscosity which we study the viscous resistance forces that set up is called dynamic viscosity uh, but later on uh, another term kinematic viscosity has been defined uh, sir uh, the main purpose to define this particular quantity because it is mathematically represented as dynamic viscosity over density so uh, because in the analysis of all the equations we were getting this mu by rho term constantly so the scientists defined it as a quantity called kinematic viscosity but it also carries a physical significance it shows how fast or how slow the momentum diffuses in a body like for example if we have a flat plate and a fluid flows over it so the greater the uh, kinematic viscosity the greater will be the boundary layer thickness like like how far or how fast the momentum given to a fluid is displaced in a body so the greater the viscosity greater will be the boundary layer thickness and the, similarly lesser will be the uh, entry length in the internal flows because the momentum diffusion happens very fast manner because of the greater kinematic viscosity hmm. barab jo fluid mein बट सर वहां पर फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर का जो फॉर्मूला होता है सर वो अलग होता है क्योंकि टर्बुलेंट फ्लो में फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर सरफेस रफनेस का भी एक फंक्शन हो सकता है बट लेमिनार फ्लो में सर वो ऐसा नहीं होता है लेमिनार फ्लो में केवल रेनॉल्ड्स नंबर का फंक्शन होता है तो फॉर्मूला सेम होता है डार्सी वी बैक इक्वेशन का एफ एल वी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय टू जी बट हाँ फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर का जो फॉर्मूला होता है सर दैट इज डिफरेंट फॉर लेमिनार एज वेल एज टर्बुलेंट फ्लो ओके कैन यू टेल मी वट इज नेवियर स्ट्रोक इक्वेशन Yes, sir. Uh, Navier Navier Stokes equation, sir, is uh, basically the momentum equation or the application of Newton's second law of motion applied over a control volume. So, sir, it gives us a relation between uh, the F's net external force is equal to rate of change of momentum. The equation that we write, uh, including the forces like pressure forces, uh, gravity forces, then we have viscous forces and inertia forces. the summation of all these forces we take it and then we uh, apply it in the newton second law of motion having some net external force acting on the fluid is equal to mass into acceleration sir 
so basically the momentum equation it is up. Okay. Now, let me tell you, what is the gravity of the specific gravity, Gaurav? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, specific gravity is mathematically uh, density of a substance per unit, the density of the water at 4 degrees centigrade. Generally, we take uh, water as a reference fluid. Uh, so it tells us how heavy or how lighter a particular fluid is with respect to water. So, so uh, it is a relative comparison between a given fluid and a water. Acha, Bernoulli question mein assumptions karam kuch bata sakte hai, Yes, sir. Sir, uh, Bernoulli equations, sub, uh, sabse pehle, sir, Bernoulli equation mein jo fluid flow hota hai, sir, usko hum uh, in viscid treat karte hai. Fluid flow incompressible treat kya jata hai, then ideal fluid ki condition hoti hai. And sir, Bernoulli equation, jin do points ke beech mein lagti hai, they should be on the same streamline. Or, or sir, uh, or koi bhi energy yeah, we are fluid ko input de rahe honge, and we are not energy output. Nahi le rahe honge. Sir, we are not going to output. Nahi hota hai, sir. Hmm. For example, Achha, Reynolds yes. equation. Ka suna hai apne, Gaurav. Sir, what is it? Reynolds equation. Uh, Reynolds, yes, sir. Turbulent stress. Uh, turbulent shear stress. Sir, Reynolds. am I going right? It is. Yeah. Yes, sir. Achha, the Re Reynolds hoti, equation for turbulent. What is eddy viscosity? Sir, eddy viscosity basically represents the viscosity in turbulent flow because what happens is the viscosity in turbulent flow is not constant as we see in the laminar flow. So, so the equation, because in the turbulent flow, we also got uh, the variable component of the velocity. Like one, we have a constant term, average term, and another, we have the variable term. So, we define the we define the shear stress in the same formula as that of Newton's law of viscosity. So instead of dynamic viscosity, we take a eddy viscosity in turbulent flow with which changes uh, and is not constant in the turbulent flow. Sir, a check mixing length. Hoti hai. What is the meaning of that, sir? Uh, yes, sir. It's a Prandtl mixing length hypothesis. Sir, mixing length uh, ka physical significance hi hota hai, sir, ki, let's say humare paas, kyunki turbulent flow means sir, huge order intermixing hoti hai, to ek layer ke particles, dousre layer ke particles mein enter karte hai, to sir, kyunki ek layer ke, ek layer ke particles ka apna ek environment hota hai, velocity hota hai, pressure hota hai, and as soon as that particle jumps into the another layer, sir, usko kuch time lagta hai, us layer ke environment mein settle honi ke liye. So total distance which particle travel karta hai before uh, adjusting to the new environment of the next layer, the total distance which particle travel karega in between two layers, sir, usko hum mixing length kehte hai, sir. So the mixing length ka use, sir, hum turbulent shear stress mein use karte hai, Reynolds equation mein, sir, jo aapne bhi bula. Hmm. Achha, ye ta, ye aap uh, turbulent or uh, laminar flow mein losses kis mein jada hote hai? Sir, uh, turbulent flow mein, sir, losses jada hote hai. Uh, sir, kyunki, sir, kyunki agar hum, uh, ek general perception, a general concept, we have a Newton's law of viscosity. Ye bolta hai ki tau is equal to del u over del y. Sir, hmm. now, velocity profile is uh, parabolic shape in the laminar flow. Mein. So, initial jo, uh, slope is the wall per sir, wo kam hota hai, kyunki parabolic profile ka slope is the Lekin, sir, jab hum, turbulent flow study karte hain to sir although uh, jo profile hoti hai wo laminar sh oh, logarithmic shape hoti hai but bahut small ek uh, layer hoti hai jisko jo laminar layer hoti hai within which the velocity profile is linear aur wo bahut fuller profile hoti hai jisse jo velocity gradient aata hai sir on the walls is very very high so the losses in the turbulent flow is very high or sir isko hum second tarike se is tarike se bhi bol sakte hain ki friction factor jo hota hai darcy friction factor uh, jo hota hai wo bhi high hota hai aur sir kyunki reynolds num, reynolds flow hai to velocity bhi sir high hogi is wajah se losses zyada hote hain okay okay so uh, let me give you gorav your feedback now yes sir gorav basic level aapka theek hai didu ke liye jo basic level chahiye na 
वो उसका नॉलेज आपको है उसका आप आंसर कर भी रहे हैं अब इससे नेक्स्ट लेवल पे हम जाएंगे नेक्स्ट जब आप मेरे साथ इस सब्जेक्ट का लगाएं तो मेरे को बोलना सर बेसिक लेवल मेरा फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स का इज डन नेक्स्ट लेवल डिग्री ऑफ डिफिकल्टी तीन लेवल है दूसरे लेवल की डिग्री ऑफ डिफिकल्टी के लिए मेरे को बोलना आप नेक्स्ट टाइम राइट फाइन सर फाइन सर चेक दैट सर यस सर